I'll tell you what's sad is how nice the paint is. Underneath the dirt. And up here on the roof. It's been in a barn. Hood struts are gone. This is supposed to be a 302 carbureted, of course. It's all complete though. Smog pump still hooked up down there. AC, power steering. I gotta set this hood down. Oh God, can't hold that up for long. Got the hideaway headlights. Looks like someone's been cranking on the adjuster. They're not sitting quite right. And they kept the grill out of it. The guy wanted the grill, so. Corner lights. In the center of the corner light is another piece of glass or plastic with the Lincoln insignia sort of making it look like it's floating in the middle of the lens. That's not about neat. Check out the condition of the chrome on the bumper, even the lower ballast. Yeah. Yeah, should have a couple of them. I think this whole car would just polish up. These are lights. Lincoln Insignia once again. And the windows, they were proud, man. Rear bumper. Other than being dirty, the car is just so nice. Over here, this little piece of plastic is cracking underneath the tail light. But look, even the filler panels. Cadillac was really bad about these filler panels rotting off. Cadillac and uh, Chevrolet, and the bumper fillers and stuff. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Oh. Cruise control. Sixteen thousand seven hundred and twenty-six miles. Probably a hundred and sixteen thousand. I don't think it's two hundred and sixteen, just because the condition of the like original paint and stuff like that uh, these door cards aren't drying out and breaking apart yet they're still soft to the touch the leather's getting dry and cracking but it's not ripped open anywhere it really needs a good bath it's got an aftermarket pioneer stereo in it Lincoln Insignia once again in the rear and front seats. You've got ashtrays, you've got lights, and I bet these ashtrays, yep, have a cigarette lighter in them. Got one on both sides, armrest that folds down. Then you got a little hanger here to put that bar that goes across to put your laundry in. Your nice shirts and stuff like that if you're going on a business trip and you're Lincoln headliner 
It's sagging in the front now. Pretty cool car. It's a 1982 Lincoln Continental. So this rolled across the scales yesterday. It has a clean title. I have not attempted to start it. There is a set of keys for the door or the doors in the trunk and there's another key for the ignition but I can't get it to turn the ignition. It feels like it's stuck. But the door locks and all that do unlock and lock with the key. But the other key will not do the ignition. So I'm gonna try to figure out that issue and then we'll see about starting it up. It can always be for sale. Somebody wants it. It's if you find you another grill, it'll be good to go. And in case you're worried about body rot, look at that bumper filler. This thing has a catalytic converter with the uh, air pump lines for the smog in it. Keep in mind, this car is a 1982, and look at those floor pans, folks. Look at those floor pans. Look at it. Look at that exhaust. That is original exhaust to this car. Nineteen eighty-two. Look at that muffler. Frame rails. Fender liners. You see those lines? This thing is clean. God is clean. <laughs> So if anybody needs a 1982 Lincoln Continental, I've got one. We're gonna try to get it running. Story, like most cars, was it was parked um, years ago. It drove into the barn when they put it there. Of course, it had flat tires and wouldn't start, so they had us tow it. So we picked it up with a rollback. It didn't start up. Uh, but I'm sure it will, and I'm gonna give it a shot if I can get that key to work or figure out a situation to do away with the key. I'd like to hear this thing run. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Clean title. Yeah, that covers it. All right, I'm going back to work, folks. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, even for parts, this is a super rust-free example. Someone someone could use this or for parts or, or use this as their main car and use another one that they have for parts i mean this thing is just too clean way too clean to be here so all right i'm jumping off here going back to work we'll try to get this thing started up maybe uh monday or something i can get some time together and we can try to fire this thing up i think she'll run you think she'll run I think she'll run. All right, folks. Thanks for watching.